Hi, Dr. Dave here to talk about how to select a cue and compare cue ball deflection. I will also talk about the advantages of carbon fiber shafts and compare the popular Predator Revo to the new QTEC 15K. I often get asked how to select a cue. First of all, it really doesn't matter that much. A different cue will not make you a better player, and any good player can learn to adjust to and play well with any cue, assuming it has a tip that holds chalk. If you care how a cue looks, just get one that looks good to you. If you care how the hit of a cue sounds or feels, get one that sounds and feels good to you. If you are like me and don't really care about these things, the only performance measure that really matters is the amount of cue ball deflection, also called squirt. The most important advice concerning cues is to stick with one and spend time getting used to it. Don't keep changing equipment thinking a new or different cue will make you a better player. That is not the case. For more information and advice concerning how to select or purchase a cue, see the link in the video description. Now let's look at how to measure and compare the amount of cue ball deflection or squirt different cues create. As an example, I will test a Predator Revo, the new QTEC 15K, a Predator Z2, and a player's cue with a typical solid maple shaft with a large ferrule. To measure the amount of squirt, I am aiming the center of the cue ball at the center of the object ball on the rail. I am using close to maximum side spin with every shot, and I am using parallel English, where I first aim center ball and then shift the cue sideways to apply the side spin, keeping the cue parallel to the aiming line. When doing squirt testing, it is best to use fast speed to minimize the effects of swerve, which varies with spin amount, shot speed and distance, cloth conditions, and the amount of cue elevation. For more information, see the squirt and swerve effects and squirt testing links in the video description. Here's the Revo. Even the lowest deflection shafts create cue ball deflection. The cue ball squirts offline when using side spin. I'll mark the cue ball direction for each test so we can see the comparison. I'll also show the remainder of the shot so you can see that my speed and spin was fairly consistent. Here's the QTEC. Here's the Z2. And here's the players. As you can see, the Z2 cue ball deflection or squirt is about the same as the Revo. The cue tech deflects more and the players even more. Now, it is possible to adjust your aim when using side spin so the cue ball heads in the desired direction. One method to do this is to use the new BHE FHE calibration system described and demonstrated via the link in the video description. This system works with any bridge length and any cue you want and can be applied to shots of different speeds and distances. I'm using the BHE FHE method here, using medium speed for each shot. For this shot, using my normal bridge length, the Revo requires 70% BHE and 30% FHE. The QTEC requires 90% BHE and 10% FHE. Just as with the Revo, the Z2 requires 70% BHE and 30% FHE. Since the players needs more aim adjustment, it requires 100% BHE at this speed and distance using my normal bridge length. A more accurate way to test a shaft for cue ball deflection and compare it to others is to measure the shaft's natural pivot length. A good way to do this is to set up a short to medium distance shot straight into a pocket like this, with two blocker balls that allow the cue ball to barely pass into the pocket. With an accurate hit, the cue ball will enter the pocket without disturbing the balls. The tricky part is to do this when using side spin. If the bridge length is just the right distance, 100% pure BHE will automatically cancel squirt and send the cue ball in the desired direction. This bridge length is called the natural pivot length of the shaft. 
As before, for an accurate measurement, you need to use fast speed so the cue ball will not have time to swerve. You can use any amount of side spin, but the test is more accurate if you use close to maximum side spin. Here is the Revo, using a bridge length that is too short. The bridge length is the distance between the front of the cue ball and the pivot point on the bridge hand. Here, I'm starting with 9 inches. When the bridge length is too short, VHE overcompensates for squirt. So with right side spin, the cue ball will go too far to the shooter's right, causing the cue ball to hit the 7 first. If this happens, increase the bridge length. Now I'm at 14 inches. That still isn't long enough because I'm still hitting the 7 first since the BHE pivot is compensating the aim too much. The natural pivot length for the Revo is 19 inches. The natural pivot length for the QTEC is 13 inches. Look how much the aim must be adjusted to compensate for squirt. Again, if the bridge length is too short, the BHE pivot will compensate the aim too much, causing the cue ball to hit the 7. And if the bridge length is too long, the BHE pivot will not compensate the aim enough, causing the cue ball to hit the 4. The natural pivot length for the Z2 is the same as the Revo, 19 inches. The solid maple player shaft pivot is at 9.5 inches. In summary, the player's cue has a typical cue ball deflection with a natural pivot length of 9 to 10 inches. The QTEC has lower cue ball deflection with the pivot at 13 inches, and the Revo and Z2 have even lower cue ball deflection with the pivot at 19 inches. I played with the Z2 for many years, so I was glad when I found out that the Revo, which I play with now, had the same cue ball deflection. Because of this, I didn't need to make any changes in the way I compensate aim when using side spin. One downside of LD shafts is that they don't always jump as well as other cues. This is not an issue if you are using a dedicated jump cue, but if you want to use your playing cue for baby jumps, where you only need to clear over part of a ball and maintain the full control you have with your playing cue, this could be a concern. Here, I've set up a gap between the 4 and 7 too small for the cue ball to pass. So I need to jump a little to clear the balls to pocket the 8. I'll compare the LD Revo to other cues to see if there is much difference, attempting to use the same cue elevation, tip contact point, and stroke speed with each shot. Here's the Revo. Here's the solid maple players. Here's a phenolic tip Predator Air Jump Cue. The jump height was a little larger with the solid maple shaft and much larger with the jump cue, but the LD shaft provided plenty of height for a partial jump like this. Now let's talk about the advantages of carbon fiber shafts. They can feel and sound very different due to stiffness, but does a carbon fiber shaft offer any real performance differences? First of all, LD shafts, carbon fiber or maple, cannot get more spin than other shafts like some people think, per the link in the video description. Although, LD shafts do not need as much aim compensation when using side spin, so there is slightly less chance for error. The stiffness of a carbon fiber shaft can help result in a slightly more efficient hit, especially with a hard tip. With a more efficient hit, slightly less stroke speed is required to get the same cue ball speed. But this is not a big effect, and it is something a player can easily adjust to after a few shots. For more information, see the cue efficiency and tip hardness links in the video description. To me, the only true advantages of a carbon fiber shaft are It is smooth and has very little friction, especially with an open bridge. It stays cleaner than a wood shaft, which can be difficult to keep sealed, clean, and smooth with no scratches or dings. It is easy and safe to clean with a damp towel. That's what I call squeaky clean. It doesn't warp, even under humidity and temperature extremes so you can leave it in the trunk of your car in any weather. It doesn't scratch easily. It doesn't ding when you hit balls, bang up against furniture, or drop it on a hard and dirty floor. And if it is low deflection, there are some advantages to this, per the link in the video description. I certainly like the Revo that I've been playing with. I don't think it makes me play any better, 
but it has all of the advantages just listed, and it requires much less care. As with the QTEC, it should stay clean, smooth, and straight for a long time to come. Now let's compare the popular Predator Revo carbon fiber shaft to the new QTEC CT15K. They both have a long straight taper, making any kind of hand bridge comfortable. The QTEC hit felt a little softer and less stiff to me compared to the Revo, but this will depend some on the tip you use. The white ferrule will be familiar to people and might help some people better visualize the shaft end, which might make it easier to visualize cue alignment and tip position at the cue ball. The QTEC has more cue ball deflection than the Revo, but some people will prefer this since it might be closer to what they are used to. Remember, I measured about a 19 inch natural pivot length for the Revo compared to about a 13 inch natural pivot length for the QTEC. But if you use my new BHE FHE calibration method, you should be able to aim equally well with any cue and any bridge length. Regardless of which carbon fiber shaft you might choose, 